Part of the old uh, tournament lifestyle right here. About to do some rigging in a uh, Red Roof Inn hotel. Part of it. She looks clean. Got to tie on some leaders. Get some stuff in the truck. Into the room. Boring stuff. But again, just sitting out here enjoying it. Being, being part of it. It's part of it. It's part of the fun, actually. I, I enjoy this part. Woo. Alrighty, good morning, y'all. We are here at Nutbush. Gonna check this ramp out. First time in there. Launching all the way down here at the bottom. Tournaments tomorrow. I uh, called the tournament director, actually texted him, and uh, asked him if he needed some more boaters. Just, uh, just cause, you know, I think uh, they could do all right, but it sounded like they didn't have as many boats or something. So, you know, I figured that'd be a good way for me to get more boating experience and, uh, see uh you know maybe help some other people out too help them get on the water if there's a co-angler wait list plan for today is going to be literally run the bank run 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 the bank put the trolling motor down on high and just go cover water on the bank and uh because i think that would be what i would need to do for the tournament if i were in the the boater's position so that's uh that's what i'm gonna do and we're gonna test that out test that theory out see how well it performs today and uh you'll be along for the ride probably be the last audio i get it's pretty cloudy I'm starting to uh kind of mist right now a little bit little sprinkles so uh don't like to run the uh, microphone when when it's raining but i'm gonna get some good rear footage of uh of the day so let's go Not what I expected. Took forever to eat it. Had to leave it in there. Same pattern as yesterday. <coughs> Wood in the back of the pocket. That means that they're moving up the spawn. Oh yeah. He would count. He counts. Ow, hey, hey, hey. Almost first cast on a dock there. All right, guys. So I hope you're enjoying this curse series. Uh, for the morning, I continue to run the bank, and as you can see here, I'm kind of working uh, another piece of structure that's in the back of a pocket and lo and behold I hook up I mean I went from one pocket to another pocket hit two lay downs and caught fish so this pretty much mirrored the same pattern that I had the other day 
you know this fish told me that they're definitely pre-spawn these are males they're moving up so they're not females which kind of dictated what I did for the rest of the day the rest of the day I spent offshore on secondary points and main lake points Carolina rigging deep cranking uh, just trying to see if I could get a bite you know I was looking for wood out on those main lake points time anytime I found that I would slow down drag through it I could just never get anything to work in that offshore mode uh, I got some you know some intel a little bit later that they are they were on uh, different types of shorelines with specific characteristics uh, that I didn't know about and had I known about that sooner had I actually gone through and, and did uh, research which somebody's gonna ding me on the fact that I didn't do any research because up until this point you know I thought I was gonna be a co-angler in this so I was just gonna go adapt to what my boater was doing see what he was doing and uh, you know go from there so at, at no point uh, ahead of this did I really put much time into studying this lake I, you know I will flat out admit that and you know I've only had two days of practice but I felt like I had a good enough pattern that I could put fish in the boat you know if I ran enough laydowns and so you know as the rain and everything picked up as uh, the day got worse I guess you would say uh, that's what I did I spent a lot of time just kind of running around marking things so that for the next day I would have stuff to run to uh, and stuff that I could hop from one point to the next and just catch fish and, and target because like I said you know they were on this wood they were moving up that's such a pattern for pre-spawn bass for pre-spawn females if you can find them on points and secondary points especially one with structure and wood and stuff like that that's where tournaments get won and so I spent a lot of my time just trying to find that so I'd have the next day to be able to run that but this is what I meant by trying to learn how to practice you know it's not just oh I go out there and catch fish and I, then I do that the next day you know there are ways to break down water faster and more effectively and that's just something that i need to learn you know this is a learning process this is not me like jumping straight to the front of the boat going there and you know being a flw tour pro uh, by next year uh, no that's not going to happen anytime soon for me i'm trying to progress at my own pace and learn the way that i want to learn and be comfortable so that when i do make that transition just to get to the front of the boat that i'm confident that i have that confidence to do what i need to do and and to know that i can go out there and compete against anyone so you know this was uh just a good learning experience uh and, and was shaped by other learning experiences. Went down to Lake Okeechobee this year and my boater on the second day of the Costa went directly to the very first patch of reeds that I checked in pre-fish. So I'm like, I know I've got the mentality and I've got the, uh, the knowledge to do this. You know, I just need that time on the water. And you know, that's something that someone said that I really respect, a guy by the name of Ken Smith. Ken Smith Fishing is his YouTube. But he said anyone who wants to make that jump to the front of the boat really needs to have the ability to practice. You need the ability to be able to spend multiple days out there. Just two days before is not really going to cut it unless you just luck out on something or unless you've got tons of knowledge on that body of water. You need multiple days to get out there and pick it apart. So, you know, guys, thanks for watching this video. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.